everyone. I'm currently at Glacier Ridge Metro Park, located in Plain City, which is a suburb of Columbus, Ohio. Pretty much surrounded by farmland with a few trees around us. I'm doing the continuation of the Columbus Metro Park's 5K challenge that my friends and I are doing, that we challenge each other. This is currently my fourth Metro Park. And I'm still way behind the rest of them. Right now it's about 34 degrees. Feels colder because there is some wind. This Metro Park does have some pretty awesome features. This Metro Park has an obstacle course. They call it a challenge course. I believe there are 10 or 12 obstacles that are at this park. You can see a few of them in the background. This park does have a solar panels and a wind turbine that powers the bathrooms and the shelters here. Speaking of the bathrooms, uh, the bathrooms, which are right here, do have flush toilets and they do have electricity. And because of that electricity, they're heated. On a day like today, that's pretty nice. Here's the shelter area that has electricity. Uh, there are some grilling stations actually two of them if you want to ever had a picnic probably not today though here's a children's playground obviously nobody's on it And this park has an 18 hole disc golf course. Also has cement throwing pads so your shoes don't get dirty. There's also a dog park. And there's been a lot of people with their pets here. Guess they don't mind the cold. And there's also a natural play area. But they didn't say it's only for kids. <laughs> on this trail, I'll be running on the multi-use trail it's paved forms a loop i believe it's 2.8 miles hello hey buddy even though it is 2.8 miles i'll have to run just a little bit further to meet the minimum of the 3.1 miles at each metro park that little lecture is going to destroy me. Along the trail, it's uh, pretty slick in some spots just because it's right around freezing. Sections like these, you don't know if you're going to be stepping on ice or if it's just slush. I'll just go into slush. This part of the trail is not too bad. It's an open field, but it's not very windy. Usually, when you have open fields like this, it gets windy. Right now, it's not bad. So when I said the wind wasn't bad, I spoke too early. This section, it's really cold. Kind of windy. Kind of terrible. There have been little sections of water on the trail that's standing. They're not frozen, so you can't walk over it, but you do have to be pretty careful so you don't get your shoes wet. Like this. Uh, stay on the edge. Oh, wet sock. Oh, that's cold. That's cold. Left sock's wet. I don't think too many people like having wet socks. Because of the loop that I'm running on, I'm coming up on the main road to get into Glacier Ridge. Coming from the left, that direction, the opposite direction, it's the rest of the park. You can see the picnic area, some of the obstacle courses. To my right is the part of the this golf course. Obviously nobody's using it right now. To my left is the parking for horse trailers. They do allow horses here, not on the multi-use trail. Well, they might be on the multi-use trail, but there's a bridle trail that circles around the multi-use trail. I've seen a few horses on it. Hi. And it looks like they already left. 
the trail is gone. Also to my left, the connector trail. So we're currently here. If I took that connector trail, it would take us down here to this section, take us over here, down to here, down to the wetlands. One way is 2.8 miles, which would add 5.6 miles to my run. And that would make it a eight plus mile day. And right now, I won't be able to handle it. I'll be calling Uber to come back to my car. Finally made it back to the wooded section. It's a lot better back here. It's less windy. That wind cuts right through you. And this coat doesn't block the wind at all. Hey look, it's a teepee made out of wood. Today's run, other than it being really cold out in the field, has been too bad. I think I am getting a little bit stronger in terms of running. My legs don't feel as bad the next day. And I feel like I'm in a better mood when I'm running. When I first started, it was really rough. Especially the first mile was the roughest. And I think it'll always be the roughest for me. But after the first mile, I get into a groove. I start feeling good. I think I will just be above the 3.1 miles. That might be 3.2. Looks like I'm back to the parking lot. I can almost call it done. And now I can call it done. Thanks for joining me on this run. If you enjoyed the video, press the like button. It would really help me out. If you want to see future videos of mine, press the subscribe button. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye.